That's My Farm is brought to you in part by Tall Grass Commodities. Big enough to serve, small enough to care. Welcome back to That's My Farm. I'm Jim Schroyer. And with us we have Clayton Short, the chairman of the Grain Sorghum Commission here in Kansas from Saline County. And just real briefly, Clayton, tell me what are the, the good things that are going on for grain sorghum producers or agriculture in general in Kansas? Well, I think all of us know that, that the, the grain price is suffering a little bit. However, the sorghum price with our improved basis is, has been impressive. Um, we all know the cattle situation with record prices. Well, we're, we're seeing record basis levels, um, and that is attributed to the Chinese exports. Um, we are very, very excited about that. I think our next uh, issue will be is can we get those prices can we get that basis to roll the new crop, 2015 right. crop? Right. We're making cropping decisions now, and um, we've got to have some movement there to to force more sorghum acres in the ground. Right, right. A lot of those acres have gone to corn uh, and, and soybeans over the years, but they have. I think with the, 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 the low prices with corn, you know, sorghum's looking a lot better. Absolutely. Um, and, and we've got some water issues in Kansas that's mm -hmm. positive for sorghum. We've got some of the larger companies, seed companies and chemical companies, re-emphasizing yield and some weed control. That probably is our, our number one negative right now is uh, our weed issues in sorghum. What about uh, trade with Cuba? How's that, how's that fit in with sorghum growers? Well, I mean, obviously it's a really close, really good market. We should be competitive down there. I'm not sure what what their use is really, how many bushels it represents. Right. But to be honest, with the high sorghum prices, the, the obviously the high basis prices, uh, Cuba may be priced out mm -hmm. um, for right now. I mean, China is, they have a definite need for sorghum and they are making it known. Mm -hmm. Well, what about, I've, you've said some positives, what are some negatives? You, you also mentioned some negatives uh, uh, with low commodity prices in general. What are, what, are some, what are some things that need to be improved on uh, for sorghum? Yeah, sorghum has some issues. Uh -huh. sorghum, uh, sorghum does. Uh, I can think of one. Producers, uh -huh. number one concern is weed control. Exactly. We, we, can, we do not have very many over-the-top chemicals. We yeah. struggle uh -huh. killing the weeds after, if they come up with the sorghum. Right. And then number two, we, there has not been a lot of genetic improvement in sorghum yield. Uh -huh. And that is an issue. We, uh -huh. we, we're trying, there's, there's uh, some things in the pipeline, there was some real positive information that came out of the Hayes Experiment Station mm -hmm. with some improved yields, but those are still two or three years away. They're, they're not in a, in a in the bag form yet for farmers to start to grow. Okay. But again, and we got some herbicide things coming, coming uh, down the pike too. Okay. So. Okay, so tell me, why should a grain sorghum producer be a member of the, uh, the Grain Sorghum Association, Growers Association? I realize you're a commissioner on the, right. on the uh, commission side. Listen, every, everyone that is producing grain, regardless of which what it is, soybeans, corn, or grain sorghum, needs to belong to their association. That is your lobbying arm, that is who is representing you, and issues that affect your production of, of, of grain sorghum on the farm. Everything from the EPA, um, this farm bill lobbying for different, um, different aspects of that. Mm -hmm. it, you, growers need to be represented mm -hmm. or, um, or regulation will eat you up on the farm. Clayton, I really appreciate you taking time with us here this morning. Thank and, you, Jim. And thank you. And folks, we'll be right back after these words from our sponsors. Soil is the life of a farm, and for 25 years, SureCrop Liquid Crop Nutrition has helped growers produce abundant quality crops while preserving and improving the soils they steward. SureCrop offers complete soil and plant analysis with cropping recommendations, delivery direct to your on-farm storage, and quality crop nutrition custom blended for your field. Choose SureCrop for the assurance of excellence for your soil. Call today or visit their website for more information. 